turn all that crap off. Of paint right there. What's up, Chief Freight Hauler? Yeah, it's Handyman Channel now. That's what it is, the Handyman Channel. Just doing housework, that's all. Trying to get the paint off a hundred year old railing that's been painted like five or six times. Hanley, what you doing? Running around? Okay. Yeah, it's rough, I know, yeah. Well, the house was built in, I think, 1918. So, I've had, we've lived in it now for about, going on like three or four years. And uh, I'm just slowly catching up to uh, trying to freshen everything up. So, I'm going to strip the top part of the rail and maybe the two outer beams. All this, so I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it is, I'd have to, I'd probably have to actually take the whole, the whole thing apart, which I'm not going to do. In fact, this one's bent. So, I'm going to clean it all up, and then I'm going to paint it white, and then just stain the top of the railing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to take some time off. You get some, you can actually catch up on some stuff. You know what I mean? Usually what happens is, uh, it just gets ignored. <laughs> I gotta finish the kitchen too, because we put, well, we hired a, uh, well, she did, because like I wasn't home. She hired a contractor to do, to do the, um, the kitchen, and we, we bought, we bought this place dirt cheap, all right, since it's out in Pensatucky. We go, I paid it for cash for it, uh, like $15,000 cash for it, and, uh, to be honest, it wasn't that bad. It was a foreclosure, and nobody was looking at it. Or I don't know what happened, but we we got I got in a little bit of a bidding war with an investor uh, because initially they only wanted nine thousand for this place, <laughs> and um, the uh, the township said specifically that they didn't want any investors in the houses in this town. So what happens was when they found out it was an investor. They got kicked out of the bidding. Well, technically it wasn't a bid, but it turned into a bid because somebody else was looking at the house, you know. But but um, they got kicked out of the bidding little war, and we ended up getting the house. Now, if they didn't bid on it, we probably would have got the house for 9 k instead of 15 But it is what it is. When I first moved up here, we were looking at um, modular houses. Uh, you know, like manufactured, we were going to have a manufactured house put on a piece of property. And uh, a guy that I worked with, who also got screwed, recommended this guy had a had a license. It was a valid PA license, but I guess it wasn't his license or something. Anyway, I ended up giving the guy like 65k to put down on a piece of property and build a build a manufactured house. And uh, we we lost just about all of it. We were able to get, uh, I think, the last transfer. We were able to get back like twelve, like twelve. Uh, was it eighteen or sixteen thousand dollars? But we lost lost like forty two thousand dollars or something because it was a uh, you know it, we ended, I ended up catching him in his lies because we went and looked at a property, picked a piece of property out, and I found a sign. Hidden in the bushes 
for the blinds that said the property was for sale. So I called the realtor up and uh, they got a hold of the owner and nobody was selling it. So that's how he caught the guy. And then apparently he ripped off like, th like 30 to 80 people or something. But that's how we ended up with this uh, little old house here, which ain't bad. Can't you can't beat a paid for full in house. Uh yo, what's up, Steve? Just uh just doing housing stuff. I said I would go live again tonight, and uh I, I you know I'd rather just I don't know do something while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? If there's people there's people on here that are sleeping, they get like there's what one channel I was watching when I flipped through like when I what Cash Cash put up a, a live and I went flipping through after he was done. And there's like Fili Filipino people that are just sleeping and they got like three, four hundred people watching them. I, I don't I don't get it, but um and they're not you know, it's not all overseas people either. It's like Americans and stuff that are just sitting there watching them. And it's not all like naked girls either, you know. It's just regular people sleeping, and then they got like 300, you know, 300 people watching them. So, I said, shit, they can do that, and I can, uh, I can strip paint and talk to people. Now we just leave that on there for a while. So what, how you doing, Chief Freight Hauler? You making money? Or is it today your day off? With a pink teddy? Yeah, like stupid stuff. They do dumb things. And people watch it. And they make like... The one had, um... Oh, what was it? Tw not a Twitch stream going, um... Streamlabs going where you can you know you can donate right on Streamlabs and it shows you what they donate. Yo, know, they were getting like a couple hundred dollars just sitting there sleeping with a teddy bear. And you know it was like a girl like fully clothed. She wasn't even scantily clothed, and they were just paying her like to sit there and sleep. I was like, jeez, oh man. I was about to tell my old lady time to time to just put a camera up in the bedroom and film us sleeping like shit. Oh man, I I can't believe how like. Mentally ill half the world is today. That's the only way I could think about it. People are mentally ill we go. Grab the scraper and start scraping this crap off. I guess I'll pull you down there with me. Yeah, well, this is gonna be the Bob Vila or Tim uh, Tim Man the Tool Man hour. That's what this is gonna be. <laughs> Except I don't have no uh, 39. What was it? A 39 Ford Coupe or something, or a 38 Ford Coupe he had with a big block in it or something. You know, let me grab something to fling this crap in. I gotta redo these walls too. Oh, Whitey just texted me. Tomorrow will be yucky. She's in Florida. How bad could it be? Chief. See, Chief Freight Hauler. Um, home tonight, leaving in the morning. Some of the other contractors were dragging around returning trailers so the nursery didn't have any trailers to put my load in. Oh, that's freaking great. That sucks. What are they, what are they hauling them in? I imagine they're hauling them in reefers, right? Cheap freight hauler? Why don't you buy yourself a cheap reefer? You can get them for like 5,000 bucks right now if you think that'll actually be like, uh, you know, a, uh, 
long-term actual partnership right there. Uh, let's see, Chief Freight Hauler tried to get them to give me the empties that I dropped today, but it had been loaded with a load and they didn't want it. Uh, let's see, Truck and Reviews, get your ass to work. I am working. What do you think I'm doing? I'm, I'm Tim, Tim Allen, the tool guy now. That's what I am. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing uh, instructional videos. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stripping a banister here in this 100-year-old house. And uh, first things first, you're going to need the gel, gel aircraft uh, paint removal, seal it. You're going to flop it on there with a nice old cheap brush. And then you're going to let it sit for about, I don't know, 15, maybe 30 minutes. Put a plastic bag on it, speeds up the process. And it comes off real easy. That's what we're doing. Probably make more money, to be honest with you, if I started doing this. Although I suck, I suck at doing this crap. What? What do you mean you're shut down there, Josh? Shut down? I still have 832 miles to go. Man, you better freaking get some paper logbooks going on there, Josh. See, cheap freight hauler. Uh, it'd be easier if you had a... Yeah, Ben, Benford 3000. No, I only got the... I got the old model, the, the, the 1100. <laughs> Man, those were good old days when freaking, you know, the world was still sane. Man, I used to watch that show every day. That, when I was a kid, I used to watch Nick at Night, actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm gonna... Hopefully this ain't lead paint. I, um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If the, I don't know if this banister is original or not. <laughs> um, Cause I tell you what, with it being out here in the coal region, like over a hundred years ago, I'm sure it probably would be lead paint if this is lead paint. I guess it's a good thing I'm scraping it off, except for the time that I started taking the uh, the sander to it. It's all right. I'm already screwed up enough in my head. Can't talk. Tired all the time. What? John, you're going to Miami from Minnesota. What you got? Pork? Uh, no, you, you, from Minnesota, you probably got beef. Where you at? Where you at exactly, Josh? I want some beef. Find out where you're at. Probably about a million dollars worth of beef on your truck right now there, Josh. Chief Freight Hauler. You've got some bad weather coming your way. What, up here in the Poconos? Nah, probably some freaking rain and thunder and whatnot. I doubt there's going to be any. Frozen pork? Nah, you can keep it. Unless it's, uh... Unless it's chorizo. You got chorizo on your truck, man. I'm robbing you. Man. I got to cook, cook myself... Two days now, I cooked myself some chorizo. Made myself some chorizo breakfast, uh... Burrito and, and uh... Had chorizo, chorizo burritos for, for dinner, too. Man, I freaking love chorizo. I'll eat that shit every day. Freaking whenever I go to like a Mexican restaurant, I always try to get like their um, their pork and their chorizo tacos. Oh, you're in Mount Eagle right now. Jeez, it's not uh, you're not getting bad weather up there, are you? I got some road. I'll make you uncomfortable. I got some roadkill at the end of the driveway. I'll, I can give you. Hey, you got some seasoning? Season that baby right up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, I've had I've had roadkill deer before from a butcher. It tasted the same as the one I shot. Uh, truck and reviews. It's being shipped overseas. I'm taking it to the international warehouse. Oh wow! Hey, uh, Leesport, Leesport, PA is in here. Yeah, that's uh, that's like right down the road from me, about like 45 minutes. 
So maybe, yeah, about, eh, about 30, 30 to 45 minutes, I guess. Eh, maybe a little bit longer, maybe an hour. We'll say 45 minutes to 50 minutes. That's about how, how far that is. Another person that's in, well, actually, that's not Pennsylvania. That's considered Redding, actually. Most people consider that area Redding or, or, or Hamburg. Hamburg area. Hamburglar. Cabela's area. That's what they consider that area, Cabela's. Dad, did you say Hamburglar? Yeah, I said Hamburglar, Bob. You know the Hamburglar? You know who the Hamburglar is, right? From the one that, from the... Yeah, the, the purple guy? That's Grimace. Oh, no, never mind. You're right. No, the Hamburglar guy is the weird guy, the big head with the... Uh, wearing the uh, jailhouse thing. Sorry. I forgot. You know what's bad? I'm, I'm surprised I forgot that. There was a McDonald's where I used to, where we used to, well, I guess technically, I don't know, you don't remember, you were younger. There used to be on 13 there where we, where I used to live or where you used to live too, when we go down there to pick Devin up, there used to be a McDonald's down there that had uh, the people made out of fiberglass. You actually could play in them. They were slides and everything. They got rid of it though, because you know, it was a real playground. Got it was a no. It was a real playground you could get hurt on, and you know they didn't want to. They wanted the park, extra parking spaces, and I think they sold the piece of the lot to. I don't know the township maybe. Oh geez, man! Freaking comment like up a storm. Tornadoes all day. Yeah, that's what I figured. Did you see any? Man, I've been driving for freaking over 10 years now, and I, I've yet to freaking... I got stuck in a little bit of hail, and that was actually around outside Philadelphia. And uh, I've yet to see... Well, I kind of saw a tornado over in Burlington when they had that, that tornado over there by the, the, the Burlington-Bristol Bridge. But I couldn't really see anything. I just saw like flashing and looked like shit flying around. You got 610 miles down, man. That should have been like 700 miles. What, do you limit it? Uh, let's see, Sean. I'm from the Du Bois, PA. Hey, I know exactly where you are. Du Bois, PA. I picked up uh, railroad ties out there behind the sheets. Yeah, close to the pilot. Yep, the pilot and sheets. Uh, let's see, Bill. Uh... Is being an owner operator even profitable anymore? Made twelve hundred to sixteen hundred dollars as a company driver, working five to six days a week. Uh, well, I I make more than that, but there are a lot of lease purchase drivers and stuff making probably less than you right now. Um, there's probably a lot of owner operators too making less than that. Uh, I mean, it's hard to believe that an owner operator can work like five, six, seven days a week and. Uh, you know, can't bring bring home more than sixteen hundred bucks. Uh, usually, if you take out all my costs, including my insurance, like my health insurance and everything, and uh, and I actually run a full week and don't like get stuck doing like what I have for the last two weeks here. Like if I do two thousand miles, I'll gross about five thousand dollars after I take out you know put money away for the truck payment and the uh, insurance payment. Um, I'll usually end up with like $3,200 to $2,800, somewhere right around there. Maybe a little less, depending if I put a lot, like a lot of, get, use a lot of extra fuel. Like if I stay stuck around here and do a lot of stop and go driving, my fuel costs go up a little bit, like at least like another 300 bucks or 400 bucks. Uh, let's see, I'll make you uncomfortable. Uh, she was right, Grimace. What, Grimace? No, Grimace didn't steal, Grimace wasn't the Hamburglar. And that, that was my son, so. Grimace is a giant, Grimace is a, a giant, giant bud. Giant perp, who it is? Grimace is a giant taste bud. He's a taste bud? That's what Grimace is? Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, let's see, cheap rolling holler. Uh, I'd gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that joke. Uh, let's see. Uh, Josh, trucking reviews. 
Hey, everybody, check out uh, Trucking Review's channel. He pretty much just goes on there and curses and uh, belittles everyone. He, he hates the world. So if you like watching that kind of content, you know, go ahead and watch it. Uh, sometimes he does a lot of vaping videos, or he did. I don't know if he still does, but, you know, check his channel out. Um, what's, he, what is he, what's he saying? Uh, this load uh, paying uh, $1,300, not bad for a company driver. Well, no, that's not bad. But how many days you how many days you think it's gonna take you to do it? Three, four days. I mean, I guess if you get it done in three or four days, and you're able to get another, if you're able to get the same load back, you you did really damn good, then. But it'll still take you about what seven days. It'll be a seven day week. The party room at the old McDonald's, McDix, yeah, the party room. Yeah, they don't even have that crap anymore, most of them. Insurance and shit. Uh, let's see, Josh, uh, I drove right uh, between two of them on 80 in Iowa. Shit, you should have took pictures, man, or videotaped it. It's called weather, sir. Uh, let's see, I'll make you... Because we were talking about McDonald's. Why not? Because you were talking about McDonald's. Uh, they, they tried to make Grimace into a, uh, into a chicken nugget, but uh, they changed it into a taste bud because nobody really liked the forearm uh, chicken nugget. No, you know why they, they got rid of the chicken nuggets, Bob? Why? Because they, they thought it was a little... Uh, Culturally, cult, culturally, uh, like ignorant. They thought they were making fun of certain people. Um, let's see. I'll make you uncomfortable. You should, you should knock on wood. You're lucky that tornadoes will hit your truck. Oh, my truck. I don't know. It's been doing all right so far. I just wish I kept, ha you know, quit having bad luck with it. Um. Let's see, I, I put another piece of plastic panel back on. I paid for that. Uh, the other day I lost another one of those freaking doors. I don't know how this time. I uh, lost the door to the, you know, where the headlights are on the other side. Dad, say uh, my uh, kids like the truck too. No, I know. They know you. Yes, my kids like the truck. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, I lost, lost the wheel well uh, door off the other side. I think I have another one that I bought. I think I bought two just in case. So I just got to find out, remember where the hell I put it. Um, yeah. Let's see, what else? Oh, the uh, also the wheel, inner wheel wells, the pla the black plastic. So it, there's a, there, it curves around and it bolts. There's a bolt on the inside, of, like the inside of the, the, uh, the hood, like by the grill. And those brackets where the bolts sit, it literally cracked around the bolts and it's just flopping around. Sometimes it vibrates. So I got to... Uh, I already talked to Kenworth and they said, no, it's not our problem. So now I got to probably take, um, I'm going to probably take the pieces of plastic off and see if I can't epoxy them and then wrap them with something and then drill a hole through it. Probably wrap it in fiberglass and then drill a hole in it and <laughs> reattach the freaking inner, inner wheel wells to, again, to the hood. <sighs> I tell you what, man, uh, I bet you freaking Cascadia's ain't having that problem. Unless, unless they're freaking losing their damn what that bolt to the pitman arm and they're steering off into nothing but i don't think they've been doing that lately so put more of the gel on there and this stuff whew, i'm gonna freaking pass out Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what you say? I, I should knock on wood. There's wood right there. Uh, let's see. Cheap print hauler. Uh, no need to be in a hurry uh, if you're pushed uh, to make an appointment. No, he's just trying to... He's not running. I mean, he runs hard, but he's just trying to, uh, you know, get another load in. That's all. Because he's got a... He's making thirteen hundred and fifty bucks off of it, so if he can get two loads in like that, he may, he's going to make some good money this week. Yeah. Right there, truck will be used. I'm making thirteen hundred and fifty dollars off this run. I'm on as a company driver. 
let's see. Uh, at Bill, I'm an owner operator, and you make twice what I do. Who? Who's Bill? At Bill. Where? Uh, where's that Bill at? Oh, over there. Well, like, come on, Chief Freight Hauler. You you make more than twelve to sixteen hundred dollars a week. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> How you affording that, that next gen there, cheap freight hauler? <laughs> Let's see, I'll make you uncomfortable. Giant Barney. Yeah, that's basically what he is. What the fuck, taste bud? I don't know, Josh. That's what he said. That's what he said Grimace is. Grimace taste bud, right? Yes, he's a giant. So apparently that's the word on the street. Apparently on YouTube is what they're telling the kids is Grimace is a giant taste bud. Really uh, needs... You have a Grimace fan. Yeah. A really what's he wear? What's he wear? Like Grimace clothes and stuff? Yeah. Everything he tries to draw. He tries he to draw Grimace. grimace. What he the has, heck? He has a Grimace room. A Grimace and, room? Yeah. That, that kid's got some problems there, Levi. Don't hang out with him. He's right <laughs> in front of me. Did he pick his nose? No. Nope. No. Oh man. Uh. He said grimace was a giant taste bud. Only kids with no facts on Grimace. Yeah, that's true, there, Sean. Uh, tastes like trash there, Chief Freight Holler. Uh, truck and reviews. Yep, I hate everyone equally while in the truck. Uh, let's see, truck and reviews. He said he's going to have that load done in three days down to Mar uh, yeah, Miami. Uh, hey, while you're down there, maybe say hi to my wifey. She's over there in Orlando right now at Disney World. They're doing, like I said, like a mother daughter generational grandparent thing. Um, let's see, uh, truck reviews, and I really have another reload, so actually I'm getting roughly 1800 total for the week, and I'll be home for my 34. Yeah, you live right down there, so you should grab your 34 down there. Uh, let's see, cheap freight hauler. If I buy another T680, I'll get one without the flarings. What, just the uh, the fuel the uh, fuel tanks? Yeah, I think if I ever see, I like the I like the interior of the T six eighty, and I kind of like how it looks. I mean, you know, I know it is still a plastic truck, but it looks I don't know, it looks like a like like decently mean. I, I would say it's like the Dodge. It has like a meaner looking front end, like the Dodge. I would say it's like the Dodge Ram, meanish, sleek front end. You know, the the plastic truck. I'd say the only other plastic trucks that look half decent or close, you know, close to it would be like, um, um, the Western, new Western stars that are basically Cascadia's, but, uh, whatever they did with the hood and some of the other crap on it, it looks good. And, uh, it, believe it or not, the LTs, the LT, well, that's also the Lone Stars look pretty decent. Uh, but believe it or not, the LTs, when you get the newer grill, and you have uh, just the tanks, polished tanks with a with a um, cab cab mounted exhaust on the sides. They look pretty decent, actually. I would like one of them mid roof. I'd be okay with it. Put a Cummins 500 in it. Uh, let's see. Truck and reviews. I've already grossed over 20k in a matter of three months for the year so far. And yeah, that ain't bad at all. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. Any plans on getting a new uh, getting a new Half ton? What, pickup truck? Nah, man, I'm keeping this old this old beater I got. I ended up, um... I don't know, were you on my li in my live uh, today? I was dri in driving it. It's a, It was a $750 Dodge Ram 2nd Gen. I got... It needs some work, but, I mean, overall, it's inspected. The frame ain't rotted out of it, and most of the truck ain't rotted. There's only some spots uh, along the, um... Uh, what do they call it? The uh, rocker panels. I run it. Driver side's pretty good, but the passenger side, freaking the. Uh, I guess maybe the truck sat on an angle somewhere, but the passenger side, the freaking, um, the rocker panels rotted out of it.
Oh yes, yeah. so I sold the I sold my pickup truck for to have extra money laying around. So when I bought the the uh, T six eighty, I had a, a pretty decent size down payment. It still cost a lot of money though. I, it'd be better if I had a forty or fifty thousand dollar down payment. I'll tell you that. Um, my payment would probably be like thirty two hundred dollars then, instead of like forty two hundred dollars. What time is it? Hey, guess what, guys? What? It's time for you to get ready for bed. Go brush your teeth. Okay, hold on. Right after, right after your game there. Right after. The, what are you playing? Rocket League. Oh, uh, Rocket League. Right after you're done winning this match, go brush your teeth. How do you know I'm gonna win? I don't know. I'm just assuming that you're going to win. Why? Well, you want me to tell you you're going to fail? You're going to lose. Like real life. Everything you do is going to be... <laughs> everything you... <laughs> everything you're going to be is going to be screwed up. Jeez. I just scored. Well, there you go. You just scored. Like life down. Then the tax man comes and takes it all away from you. Tax, yeah, Pac-Man. Pac-Man comes. No, I said the tax man. Oh. Gotta teach him early, guys. Really? I don't know why it's not the, 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 the damn comments aren't following you guys talking. It's just freaking uh, sitting there. Uh, are you talking about where they bolt to the front of the hood next to the grill? Yeah, yeah, cheap freight dollar. They cracked right around there, right where the bolts on. I don't know. Well, I don't know if the bolts were too tight. Well, I mean, I don't know. They just rattled, rattled off, I guess, and, and cracked. Like it really cracked around the bolt in the washer. Uh, Josh, truck and reviews. It's roughly sixty-seven hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that's not that's not that's not bad. Company, company driver with bennies and everything. Uh, let's see. I'll make you uncomfortable. Is that the gel removal or look? No, I use the gel. I wouldn't use the liquid. The liquid would be all over the place, all over the carpet and crap. And no, I'm just using the gel. I'm I'm only gonna probably just do the uh, the handrail. Um, there's so much paint on this thing now. I, I'm thinking about doing the whole thing, but oh my gosh, uh, like I would have to really take it apart, and I'm scared to take it apart because I'm scared I won't be able to get it back together. Like. There's no screws, no nothing. I don't even know how it's together. You know, this is old world craftsmanship here. Probably, probably an Amish person may have built this for for some coal. Because these used to be coal mine factory houses. This is a coal miner's house. So either the miners built it themselves, or they had some like really old school craftsmen come in. Because all the wood in the house is all like right from the trees. Um, what do they call it? Um, you know what they call that timber but it's like i got like actual like six by tens or some shit downstairs like you know they're about that thick <laughs> you know about that thick uh for floor beams and joists and stuff so they also had old old knob knob uh what do they call it knob knob and tubing or tubing and knob or whatever electric that's down there still some of the some of the insulators are still down there um Let's see, cheap, uh, yeah, no, I'll make you uncomfortable. He doesn't want anyone to know he loves Barney. Oh, the kid. Yeah. He doesn't want anyone to know he loves Barney. <laughs> so he says he loves Grinimus. <laughs> Shit, I haven't heard Barney. Wow. Does anybody watch Barney anymore? Uh, hey. yeah, uh, Hattie does. Oh, oh, that's like a little baby. I meant like in your school. I remember when Barney was like the shit. I mean, I like, still do. <laughs> you still watch Barney? Yeah. Bit. Yeah. I'm at oh yeah. Well, that's because Hattie has it on. Oh, I kind of like it. You kind of like Barney? Oh man, you're gonna have people making fun of you now. <laughs> uh, let's see, Chief Freight Hauer. 
Not that's what uh that's what I personally bring home. My gross is between seven to eight K. Okay, so you're paying yourself. Okay, so you're putting a lot of money away. Uh been paying down this truck fast, fifteen months into a two thousand I I owe twelve thousand on it. Oh my a twenty two thousand on it. Holy shoo. Wow, cheap freight hauler, man. I don't know if I had my other truck paid off because I'm still paying on that old damn girl. I think I got like eight thousand dollars left on it, which I should just I should just take a bunch of money and pay it. Uh, I could have maybe put another thousand dollars towards towards my my next gen. Maybe maybe if I push it two thousand dollars. But the problem is every time I turn around and start putting more money and trying to pay things off, like this week, I like well not this week but three weeks ago. Right at 2,000 mile a week, and I had a lot of money sitting around. I took money out and I paid a bunch of credit cards down, paid some money towards taxes, old taxes. And uh, now I have two weeks of like doing nothing, you know, plus plus the freaking I took all, I had to take off. So now, like I said, it feels like you take, you know, three, three steps forward, two steps back, you know, two steps forward, two steps back, you know, back and forth. So I'm like scared to try to pay stuff off real fast because I don't know what the hell's gonna happen, you know. Uh, let's see, Josh Trucking Reviews. He said nice. He was probably talking about how the truck's almost paid off. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. He's telling you, cheap freight hauler, good work. Everybody in there is congratulating you because I'll tell you what, what you did is like amazing, practically. Let's see, uh, trucking with Team Fo. Don't be insulting Dodge like that. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, like a lot of people compliment me on the truck. Um, you know, not like probably not like if I had like a stretched out Pete or something like that, but still like compared to like having a Cascadia or something or a Volvo. Uh, let's see, cheap freight hauler, hoping to pay it off this month. Holy crap! Yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, two fours up, Jackknife. I see you're keeping busy at home. Yep, just uh, doing house stuff, trying to fix the place up. Considering I'm hardly ever here half the time anymore. Um, I gotta repatch all the walls because the kids you know, here with the stairs and toys and shit. The kids like bang the walls up, so I gotta stack all them. Okay. And that. <laughs> and, uh, you almost done? Huh? You gotta get ready for bed. It's like not almost nine o'clock. Annalie. Hey. Go brush your teeth. All right. Um,. Let's see, I'll make you uncomfortable. Uh, I'll check out the live 90s or older trucks. Uh, no, I'll, I'll check out the live 90s or older vehicles. Check out the 90s live or older vehicles. Um, let's see, I'll make you uncomfortable. It's quarter, it's quarter to two. Oh, it's a quarter to eight. Oh, quarter to eight here. I was like trying to tell time there. That's what you're doing. Uh, let's see. Cheap freight hauler. My driver's side is broken. There's there also. What the? Uh, oh, under your hood thing. Yeah, you know it's funny. I took like I took it to freight. I mean uh, Kenworth, and I said, "Yo," I said, "You know, what's this?" They're like, "Oh, it's just normal wear." They're like, "It's not covered under warranty." Apparently there is something for the hoods cracking by the um, by the mounts. There's a bulletin out for that or something, but they said that, that's fine. But they won't they won't replace the inner wells, so I'm gonna have to try to fix that myself. Like like I said, I got it's over a year now that I've had the truck, so now it's like the bumper to bumper's gone on it, and they don't want to freaking do shit. Uh, I'm also losing coolant somewhere. I don't know where. I can smell it every once in a while, but I can't find it. And it's pain in the. Have you you tried to put coolant in your truck? It's a pain in the butt. You need like a coolant siphon, or one of those coolant bottles uh, that you know you like. The cars have you can screw on. It's a big yellow bottle that gets in there because it will not take coolant like into the bottle, no matter you know if I'm on flat ground or what. 
you got to almost like force it into the reservoir and then cap it real quick because the, for some reason the hose, the filler neck hose, is almost lower than the damn actual uh, coolant bottle because of the way the hood is shaped and everything. Levi, go make sure she brushes her teeth right. Okay. Actually, I'll be right back. I'll make sure she does it right. Hey, what I tell you? All right. Well, I'm gonna... Good job. No, no, put it back underneath with the actual Xbox and everything. Away nicely. I don't want it hanging out. And pick up the living room. That living room was clean when you when you guys got home. Put the coats away and everything. Hey, stop it. It's all <laughs> Freaking kids. Uh, See, so I'll make you uncomfortable. Ouch. I need to take it apart. Where are you going? Put your pajamas on? Here. What are you doing? A live stream? Yes, doing a live stream. Go put your pajamas on, too. It's probably your first ever live stream, probably. No, it's not my first ever live stream. No, don't touch that. That's fine. That's wood, but don't touch the rest of it up there. All right. It's got goo on it. Come on, free. You got your hair and stuff in it. Come on, let's go, little girl. Just step over that. Hey, Dad, where am I sleeping? Uh, on your bed. How? Uh, take the clothes that are folded and put them on the floor nicely. And then the stuff that's not, just stick it over in the corner. And then I'll finish doing that tomorrow. Here, I'll turn your closet light off because I don't think you can reach it. No, it's not on. Love you. Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll clean up. You'll try to clean up your room tomorrow for you. I'm back. Hey, I tell you what, new appreciation for the old lady. What'd you do? Fall? Oh, my head hurts. Your head hurts. You want medicine? Come here.
What if I do? What? What if I do? Well, if you die, I, I can't like I can't like chant rituals to you to bring you back to life. That ain't gonna work. Love you, Bob. Love you. All right, I'm here again, finally after. Trying to basically being a mom and a dad and everything else. Uh, all right, here I'm back. Ouch. Uh, that gel is crazy good stuff. Don't take apart. All right, that, okay, I won't take it apart. But I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to probably just do the railing and then I'll probably take a sander and try to sand all the hack job paint and level it out over here on the side of the the rails and uh yeah i'm not i'm not i'm not going to strip the whole thing it's gonna i'd have to like I, plus i'd have to take it apart because when you look up over here you know it's up against the freaking uh the drywall there i don't know how i'm gonna really paint behind there uh because whoever had whoever had the house before didn't paint behind her either I, I know i can get those little flat brushes and get in there <sighs> you know it's gonna look good, good-ish. I I'm not gonna do a five million dollar rehab job on a uh, on a fifteen thousand dollar house. It's now, well, it's actually worth something now supposedly since all the New Yorkers are moving in. Uh, pretty much pure equity in this place. Uh, maple trees, knob and tubing. Yep, knob and tubing. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh. So I'll get you uncomfortable, or I'll make you uncomfortable. I'll get you, I'll get you uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Um, I get my first real, I get my first real paycheck in two years this Friday. Oh, what you do? Um, you did you go back as a company driver or something, or are you actually making making good money now as an owner operator? I forget what what you are there. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. Uh, let's see. Cheap freight hauler. Got to run. Have some, have a great evening, everyone. Hey, I'll see you, man. Um, man, uh, you, you're doing some crazy stuff over there, Sheep Freight Hauler. Keep it up. Uh, let's see, 2-4 uh, East Coast of Canada is preparing for some snow Thursday. Yeah, they were talking about snow here, too, possibly. Um, although, it don't look like it's going to happen. Uh, thank goodness. Because <laughs> I sure as hell don't want to deal with it. I can't believe it's going to snow here. Uh, this... Uh, it's late in the season, but then again, when my daughter was born, my youngest here, um, we got like a, a foot snowstorm on uh, the second. So today, you know, we got a foot snowstorm. Oh yeah, I guess I should say, mention it's her birthday. So, um, see Shannon Thomas. Uh, good evening, Jackknife, uh, and the chat. From between Louisville and Nashville, stopped at a little or stopped a little early today for tonight due to the tornado warning. Ah, come on, Shannon. You know you want to drive in there. You can do some storm chasing. Uh, let's see. I'll make you uncomfortable. Uh, but we're doing, but we're doing, but we're due for a big dump, and had one uh, in May last year. Oh, there you go. Bunch of snow. Uh, hey, Shannon. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. He's talking to you, Shannon. Uh, hey, Shannon's waving back. Uh, bleach her hair white. Yeah. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. 
Oh, you know what? That's what you're probably talking about when she almost got thought she was going to get her hair in the uh, man. I'm back on the comments here for a little bit. Uh, let me try to speed up. Uh, he's removing paint off the rail, Shannon. Paint, uh, Shannon waving jackknife, uh, fatherhood episode. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, Chief Freight Hunter, some night quill will fix you. Nah, they go to bed. Oh, sometimes they go to bed. Uh, they're really tired tonight because last night they didn't go to bed. Dad, I think Penny's still outside. Penny's over here snoring. Uh, Penny, come here! See? Uh, Penny, the oinkin' dog. Come on, Penny! Come on! Why, you want her up in your bed? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. I know you're all good. Come on. Come on. No, don't grab that. How about this? Now you can run out of the way you want. Come on. Go on. Go on. Hey. Wrong way. Here. There. Is that better? Pretty. Call her. So she comes up with Pretty. you. Come on. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. I'll get out of the way. All right. There you go. Now call her. There. Jeez, oh, man. Or she was freaked out by the camera. Yeah, no, we didn't give him NyQuil. We just gave him some uh, ibuprofen. Kids ibuprofen. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. Try to find a oil-based to do the next. Uh, I got I got some white paint. It's called high traffic paint. It's for like uh, kitchen cabinets, doors, you know, things where you touch a lot. And I'm going to put that on there because it, it doesn't stain. It doesn't get like finger... Dirt, dirt doesn't stick to it real well. I don't know what it is. It's made by a uh, bear. Uh, I got almost a whole gallon of that still left over. And um, we're going to use that. Because yesterday I just painted some trim around a door that the contractor pulled apart for the flooring. And they boogered the, the, the freaking... Well, the trim wasn't really good in the first place, but they boogered it all up hammering it back in and I had to, I took uh, that pink putty that pink wood putty um, or filler I guess it is Let's put this up here I don't like it. like right right in my face um, I put the filler and stuff in it and sanded it all down so at least it, you know I don't know I don't, I don't feel like buying more trim like I said the house what it, this ain't gonna be a uh, you know half a million dollar uh, just trucking house so um, this is just, you know, a free place to live basically right now that I'm going to try to take care of here shortly. Um, see, I'll make you uncomfortable working for, uh, a CO, uh, working for a co-op, uh, pay is shit, good bennies and perks. Oh, you work at a co-op. I know what you're talking about. So are you, uh... Here, let me pull it down so I can read it. I guess I'm going to have to keep it, like, right here in front of my face here. Um, so you're hauling feed and stuff around as a company driver. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. At least you know it's not going anywhere. Uh, I know a lot of owner-operators. See, like I said, whenever I make my videos and I talk about owner-operators, I talk about, you know, oh, I'm making tons of money, everything's great and stuff. A lot of these guys are driving like 379 Pete's around or K100s and shit. They're, um, you know, they're working for co-ops. You know, they know the people like personally, practically and stuff. They got connections. And, you know, they're making damn good money. So why don't you maybe, hey, maybe uh, there I'll make you uncomfortable. Why don't you see if they'll hire you as an owner-operator. Maybe save up some pennies, right, you know, some pennies. Yeah, a truck real cheap. Uh, let's see. Deep fired frog. Five dollars if you... Poop on the step. Oh, for the dog? Nah, the dog's the dog's well trained. Cute doggy. Yeah, it's a little. It's a Brendel Boston Terrier. She's like, uh, you know, she probably has more love than like the entire world. Uh, if like everybody acted like her, this place would be, like, the world would be such a better place. I'll tell you what. Uh, am I doing my honey do chores? I am doing. Hmm. I guess you could say it's my honeydew chores. It's more like, uh, honey, if you do them, I will do you chores. <laughs> that's the kind of chores I'm doing. I'm hoping that's what 
what I'm doing. But no, it's stuff that just has to get done. Might as well, like, I, I don't like sitting around. Uh, I can't say that because, man, when uh, doing reefer and stuff and the hours and stuff I'm working, I, I'd like to say I don't like sitting around doing nothing, but I'm just worn out. It's the, uh, I tell you what, I get more worn out doing reefer look work than I do, like, when I was doing flatbed. I could have a hard day flatbed and, and be, like, ready to, like, you know, I, I would exercise after I did flatbed work. I could still exercise, jog, do stuff. But, man, after reefer work, I just, I feel miserable. Like, it's just, you know, some days it's fine, but other days it just, like, the way the days go, it's just uh, shitty. Uh, let's see, J-O, uh, tr yeah, J J O, uh, TV, uh, which place to buy cheap truck? Uh, Facebook Marketplace is the be best place you can do, either that or go, uh, to an auction. Is right now, auctions, I mean, there's still stuff that, you know, people are still putting their problems on the, in the auctions, but most majority of the trucks are at auction are just, Companies going out of business and uh, repossessions right now. You can get a good deal right now. Um, I'll make you uncomfortable. Uh, I'm on the floor. I hate driving. Oh, okay. So you're working actually out in the uh, in the actual facility. Uh, I don't know why somebody hid that, but. Uh, I'll give you the five to half off. <laughs> Let's see, two, four. Uh, do you get your ass kicked? Chores. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Do it or get your ass kicked chores. Yeah, that's that's the way most, most wives do their... They're uh, honey to do list. Yep, that counts. Man, tell you what. What have we been in here? We've been here almost an hour. Uh, I think I'll give it to a full hour and I'll call it quits here. So we got about. We got about what now? Three minutes? Three minutes for some shenanigans? So, or two minutes, two minutes for some shenanigans. Um, I don't know. What do you, uh, what the hell are you guys doing lately tonight? Anybody making any good money here today? Considering I ain't making any money. What I should do, what I really want to do, like I said before in my other live, I'd love to get F8, like do, do like a, um, interview with F8 or, um, uh, there's a bro there's a broker, uh, and I can't remember the name of the broker. What what his uh, channel is? But I'd like to interview him. There's a broker I'd like to interview. Like I'd like to do. I'd like to get on here and actually like put out some content that actually like genuinely helps people, other than just sit on here and go. Um, um, Grimace. Uh, he's a taste bud. Um, you know. Uh, you know I want to actually bring some content to people that's like might improve their uh prove their life i guess you could say so uh i know what i was looking for when i first started trucking and for, when i first became an owner operator like i really wish like youtube was a little bit bigger when i became an owner operator because i probably wouldn't have made some dumb mistakes like number one mistake was probably not uh starting out not really paying taxes or paying like scheming taxes as much as i could because that's what i was told to do that's how I was taught by a bunch of other owner operators, you know, shit like that. That probably would improve my life right now. I'd be a little bit, a uh, little bit more, uh, cat, a little less cash strapped, I guess you could say. Um, but hey, you know, you live and you learn. Uh, that too, and also find an accountant that actually knows, like, you know, the ins and outs of the industry. Don't just take it to your random small town. Uh, you know, CPA or or even a major company. I'm not talking like a major company like H uh, and R Block. I'm talking about like I don't know, just like a decent sized company, like with an office building, because uh, they'll just take their 
they'll just take your taxes and give it to some college kids that are in the cubicles trying to learn how to, I don't know, balance, balance your, uh, you know, your, uh, tax portfolio. Oh, you know, it's funny. This shirt so bright. It's causing the camera to go in and out. Uh, let's see. I'll make you uncomfortable. I like it. I work with, with lazy clowns. Yeah, that's about what everybody is anymore. Uh, I call them, well, my dad calls everyone Walmart people, so that's what I started doing, just call everybody Walmart people. Uh, so I guess, you know, they're Walmart people. Uh, let's see, 2-4, good to see you live, bud. I've uh, been watching a couple months. Love uh, love from the NS, catch you, late, catch you soon. Yeah, no problem, uh, NS. Uh, why can I not... Nebraska love from the NS oh north um NS. I don't know what the heck that means <laughs> it probably just uh ruined wherever the hell you lived I can't uh can't figure it out uh let's see ambassador long time uh, longest time I did uh, OTR is eight months. How can you afford the time home? Um, I just have money put away. I mean, I, I complain about not making money and stuff, but in my head, it, in my head, I feel like I'm not doing enough. In reality, most people, I'm probably doing better than like 80% or 75% of the guys out there right now or 70 or something. Um, but in my head, I want to be farther along than where I am now. Like, um, I want to be where I was po uh, prior to COVID. I want I want to have two more trucks. I want to have some drivers. I want to be making r money, like real money again. That's what I would like to be doing. So in my head, no matter what I do, um, you know, I'm I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. And then I make also I make these stupid decisions too, like buying that new truck. I bought that new truck for the means of an end because out of every truck, every single truck I've bought, at one time or another, there's been a large, not catastrophic breakdown, but a large breakdown and, and some catastrophic ones. And I'm, I was just tired, so tired of it all the time. Um, the one was definitely my fault. I bought a, an MX-13, but technically that, that truck paid for itself like within the first two months that I owned it. I bought the truck for like thirteen thousand dollars with three hundred thousand miles on it um the problem was finding somebody around see where i live for some reason like if i go on google and i like right now if you go on google look up look up trucker taxes or trucking tax or trucking tax lawyer i bet you you'll have some around you where where i live you try to do something like that the closest one is like in uh newark new jersey and i don't even know if they speak english put it that way um <laughs> Same thing like with shops. If I look up shops, most of the stuff where I am is dealerships and the little mom and pa shops. If you read the reviews of the shops around here, they're all like ex-crackheads working there. They have tons of problems. They mess this shit up. Like where I'm at, it's, you would think it would be a great place for, you know, some trucking shops or truck related, you know, uh, back office stuff. Because I'm right here where 80 and 81 connect. And, like, it's like a ghost town up here. I'd have to go all the way down to, like, um, hmm, um, trying to think of the name of the town down that way. Carlisle? I'd have to go down to, like, Carlisle or Cambridge or, um, I think it's Cambridge down there? Or Cumberland? I can't remember down there. It's down near the Maryland border. Well, I have to go down that way to find any like real trucking trucking related services. All right, I'll go a little bit longer here now that I got some wind in me, but I can't go all night long here. Um, I'll make you uncomfortable. Yep, see you. He's out. Have a good night there. Uh, I'll make you uncomfortable. Nova Scotia, Canada. Yeah, let's see. I would have never. I would have never. Would have never popped up on my head. I'm, you know, if I, when I think of Canada, I think of um, Montreal and uh, British Columbia. That's that's pretty much it. 
uh ambassador uh i like 6k weekly is my goal yeah if i well if i do if i if i gross 5k to be honest i can still profit fairly well all the way down to like 4k ish i can still profit am i I'm making more than a company driver then no if i stay around five to six k yeah i make a decent amount more than the company driver if i go um if I go above that, like where I was when I first when I first started this this Tyson account, I was doing like seven, eight, nine k, uh, just running, and that was with the older truck. Like I said, if that that old truck, the old ninety four hundred, where I was at, if that would have lasted a little bit longer, I would have probably put a used engine in it, or I wanted a rebuild engine. That's what I really wanted, and I probably would have been able to. I'd have been able to put like half down to finance it without being like freaking out. Like everyone says here, like here's what happens. When I t talk about money and stuff, everyone's like, oh, well, if you got money, why don't you just fix it? You know, like uh, the one guy's like, why don't you just take like $2,000 or $3,000 and fix your bumper? Because if I take that $3,000 and just fix my bumper and let's say, we'll say next week I get a check engine light on and it's for like wiring or something and it's not under, you know, it's not under the engine and powertrain and emissions warranty. Guess who's paying for it? I am. I would rather be able to pay for my truck to stay running than to put a new bumper on. Eventually, I'll end up having an aftermarket bumper and I'll put it on. Right now, I'm looking at an aftermarket bumper for like $1,400. And when I decide to buy it, I'll buy it and probably put it on and videotape it. Um, or video it. Not really tape anymore, but video it. Um, I, I just, I'm trying to make smarter decisions. Like, I'm trying to be really like nitpicky with my money. Like what? Well, if I wanted to go out, I could have went and put money down and financed a how I probably could have financed a brand new damn Dodge pickup truck if I wanted to. Did I do it? No, I went out and found a seven hundred fifty dollar beater. It, well, it's you know I can't I don't know I guess you could call it a beater, and uh, you know it does what I needed to do. It's got four by four. It's got a bed, and when I get done wrapping it and everything and put a new headliner in it, it's gonna look like. Like almost a damn like new truck, at least compared to you know have, being any other second gen out there. It's not rotted out, for the most part, you know, and it runs. It's got a five nine in it, hauls ass. So, I don't know. I just um, I get irritated now whenever I see guys like on here trying to talk shit, saying, "Oh well, you know, you're freaking broke." Um, oh, I hate ones when this, they they keep saying I'm a lease purchase driver too. Um, that, that pisses me off a little bit. If I was a lease purchase driver, I'd probably be in a better, better position because I would just walk away. <laughs> I would literally just walk away and say, sayonara, see ya. And, uh, go out and buy a cash truck. Cause like I said, I can buy like a, a decent 9,400i right now for $10,000. Is it going to blow up in a couple months? Who knows? Is it going to blow up in a few weeks? Who knows? But it's a decent, decent truck. In fact, if I wanted to, I could find my old truck. My old truck's still sitting in the yard somewhere. I, I I think it's still in the same place where it was when the guy dropped it off there. I go buy my old truck, to be honest, right now, and put an engine in it. The problem is it probably also needs kingpins. Probably I know it needs uh cab cab mount bushings. Um needs a new hood, or at least fixed, because it got ripped off when uh when I took a shower at one time, at, where was I at? I, I was so mad, I didn't even know where I was. I had a pilot somewhere, in, I think I was in Indiana, I think, when that happened. Ripped, my, ripped the corner off, well, pulled the bumper back. When the bumper pulled forward, I guess when he pulled out, he pulled out too hard and grabbed it with the trailer bumper and ripped the bumper off, just about. Um, but yeah, like the truck's going to need work. It almost like right now it's not worth anything though. Like even with the engine running, it's probably worth 10, 15 grand at most. So I don't know. I'm just just rambling it out at this point. I got got on a uh, a little bit of a a tamper uh, fit, I guess. But I'll see you. We got uh we got an hour and ten minutes in, so I'm gonna call this live uh, a night. Uh, maybe I'll answer the last two questions or the last question, uh, ambassador. Oh no, that isn't. The, that's I already read that. All right. Well, if you guys got nothing really to chime in about or ask a question about, I'm gonna call it here. So I'll give you a second. If you got any questions or whatnot? Go ahead and hit the like button on the way out uh, if you're in here. 
Um, and I guess share this live if you got anywhere to share it to, even though it's nothing really, um, nothing really pertaining to trucking too much. It's just literally, uh, some dude's life, I guess you could say. I just filmed, <laughs> um, the Truman Show. There we go. Maybe I'll start just walking around with a live camera. I'll get, get my jacket with the pocket and just stick the camera in it and just film live all day long. Um, <laughs> every single thing I do. But, yeah. So, we're going to call it a night. Uh, I'll catch you all later. Thank you all for stopping by and uh, supporting the channel and stuff. If there's no questions, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, we'll just check it real quick first. All right, doesn't look like any questions are popping in, so I'm going to go uh, get out of here and uh, jackknife out. Later, guys. Have a good night.